Resident Evil 4. Welcome okay. to yeah. the hey. scary yeah, sound. house. Did that sound, Dan? <laughs> oh! Shit. This TMP does not do as much damage as I thought it, as I remember it doing. Um, yeah, this area sounds like a fucking pug. <laughs> like, he can barely fucking breathe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's the thing. I can do this. I, I just gotta remember. It should be around here. Around here. A little higher. No. No. A little... Oh, oh. shit! <laughs> Shit, 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 Regenerator has discovered stumble forward. It's super effective. Fuck it. Kill it with fire. Yeah, they're not, they're not good against fire. It, well, it, most, most things aren't. Like somewhere. Got him. It was in this little vicinity. <laughs> like if your heart was on the wrong side of your body, mm -hmm. that's where it was for him. It's in a slightly different place for everybody. So I am wasting ammo doing this, by the way. Like, I should be... The whole point is I'm like, oh, oh, and I'm, like, running past them. I'm, like, juking them. Mm-hmm. But I'm... You know my way I play with Evil Dan. I, I try you to Leave kill. no survivors. Leave no survivors. Exactly. You know it. Yeah. There he is. Ah, I see. That's why I put them here. They give you a little... Come on. This one has not learned stumble yet. Uh, 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 uh. I got me. I was curious, like, what was the? Oh my god! Did you see that like long tension thing you just ripped out of your neck? Yeah. That must have hurt. And let's see if I can fucking lay some waste here. Uh, uh. Got it. There you go. Blah. I found it. If you spam them enough, you will find it. Well, yeah. Uh, again, the thing is, wait, 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 for the first time, you don't have the ammo to waste. <laughs> I have tons of ammo to waste. I don't give a fuck. Like, I got stuff. Yeah, I'm doing very well. Also, because, you know, it partially, when you play the game for the first time, you don't know what weapons are good or bad. Mm hmm So you kind of, it's, I need a key. It feels cool. It must be some sort of freezer. Haha. -ha. The freezer key. Yes. Um... So, like, I made mistakes in this game where, like, buying a weapon that was, like, the wrong weapon and then, like, trading it back, like, wasting money in that process of getting something and then... Did you ever buy the mine thrower? Selling it. No, I don't think I ever had. It, it always seemed... The work custom mines, for some reason, left me kind of feeling, ugh, what, what? Mm. I, I never got it. Maybe someone out there has gotten it and they... like it. Maybe. But me, personally. You got the waste disposal card. Yep. And I'm gonna operate this. Turn it off. I'm turning off the freezer. Oh yeah, no, that's a good thing. Well, I need something in there. But there, but there's all these things in here. But this is gonna help me. Well, what is this? Take the infrared scope. Oh man, it's some Metal Gear shit. <laughs> so you can tell which one's gonna fall because he's the only one who's actually a real model. Yeah, <laughs> I love how they're hanging them up by their heads. Yeah. It's like, oh, they could just regenerate. Yeah, let's not worry about anything. This needs some serious sorting. But I'll deal with that later. So basically, I'm gonna combine this with this. Okay. So now instead of using the regular scope, it's gonna use the infrared scope, and that will actually help me to kill the bad guys. Cause you'll be able to see. See. Ah. See, so he has he has multiple. I see. That little shake is the indication that you've uh, there hit you them. Got one. Yeah. <laughs> see how easy they are once you have this. Yeah. Isn't that bad? Just as long as you have sniper ammo. And they give you time. And also, I happen to have a lot, Dan. <laughs> it's almost as if I knew this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to conserve my sniper ammo. I mean, the sniper rifle has very specific uses in the game. Like, you don't just go around using it all the time. The only time you really use it outside of, like, a situation where, like, the thing is, like, super far away is... My God, I have a lot of green herb. <laughs> is in a situation where perhaps... Uh, I don't even know where I want this to go. Just be here for it. Uh, just be down here for right now. Uh -huh. While I try to figure out where these bullets are gonna go. Wow, there's a lot of shit. Look at all this fucking green herb. It's uh, yeah, you got you got a lot of it. I need a, I need more yellow and red to make these like worth more because they're not worth much as they are in their current state. Maybe you sell a couple. No, I, I I've done that, like on really ballsy playthroughs mm -hmm. where I'm like I'm like need health and I just sell them all. 
<laughs> like basically, like um. Did you live to regret it? No, well, I mean I did live, but I never regretted it. Oh okay. Um, basically, um, yeah. I, I, I on my other playthroughs, I will totally sell. Like I will totally fucking sell um health items because I don't need them. Nearly. Well, you're just much. gonna leave that one little space next to. Okay, fine. This is special. This is special. There we'll you go. There. And... There you go. And I don't know where a good place for this is. Just down here for now, I guess. Yeah. Are we next to the sniper rifle? Maybe, but it's kinda... on top of the broken butterfly. But then it has this weird space here. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. This will go here. There you go. <laughs> this will go here. There we go. Okay, that's a little ne neater. Are, th are those magnum ammo? Huh? The blue. Yeah, these are magnum ammo. Oh. I'm not reloading it because, in just in case, I get lucky. And I run into the merchant. Uh huh. And uh, I can. Oh, do I see. I, I see. Capacity upgrade. Ah, okay. Um, I, in in previous playthroughs, I have sold the magnum mm -hmm. and sold uh, all of the ammo I've gotten for it. They're they actually worth. Uh, I think they're worth like five hundred per like box. Oh wow. Uh, or, or more maybe. And they, they they're 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 worth quite a bit. So I just rewrote the key from the freezer key to the waste disposal key. key. Very old school video game. You need the blue key. You need the red key. Mm-hmm. Well, at least it's the same key, I guess. Yeah. So if you hear, you hear that sound? There's some bullshit going on in that room. There's some crawlies. There's some bullshit. I'm gonna need this. <clears throat> this part of the game is fun. Again, the, the, the Red Evil games are about fun. They're scary, but you can have a good time. Yeah, it's it's, it's all about being the guy. So play a little mini game. <laughs> okay. I suck at this mini game. I've always sucked at this mini game. It's really hard for me to do. Okay. Am I centered? Uh, no. Okay. What should I do? Up a little bit. I go by the shadow. Am I wrong uh, to do that? And left a little bit. Left? Le there you go. You sure? Yep. Because I always miss him. Got him. <laughs> okay. Well, who should I go for? Uh, the guy at the top. Okay. Seems to be the easiest one. But how do I get it over his head? I left a little bit. Left more. There you go. I think I'm off. Oh, we're about to find out. Yep. See how hard it is? Like, it looks like you got him, but you don't. You and only that... have you have two moves, and then you can't do it anymore. Ah, uh, because they figure it out. And they just shoot him in the head anyway. Hello? <laughs> He's like, let me get my flail. That'll help me. It's funny because it's a glitch, but it's a, it's the most useful glitch in the game. The fact that their um maces clip through the door, <laughs> it's so useful. Mm -hmm. And it's like how everybody plays the game, even though it's clearly if they could have fixed that, they would have. Right. There's no reason why you would have things clip through the door like that, on purpose. No. Nope. Uh, so what can I have? What are I around here? These, I know there was a green over on one side, but I know there's some stuff in these trash cans. Some mm, of them have nah. something. Oh. Check, but that's just to check the hole. That's to check the fall. Is it? That's a, a waste, waste dump. dump. Maybe at least at lower levels. There's something. Oh, no. One of these has something. There it is. Oh, emerald. Who would throw it an emerald? I swear. <clears throat> okay, as we progress through this level, we're going up. So we gotta get. We get so just like James Brown once said, we have to get up to get down. Yes, <laughs> yellow herbs. <laughs> there you go. So now you can finally get rid of all the green herbs you've been harvesting. No, I can just actually make some of them actually fucking useful. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, fuck it. Can yeah, I, I'm going to do it right now. Can I do this? No. I can't. No. Nope. Fuck me. Oh, well, whatever. I'll take it. Um. You can combine green with green, but you can't combine. Can you combine red with red? No. Can you combine yellow with yellow? No. They don't do because they don't do anything by themselves. Right. They are non. They are non-potent. They need the green herb to have potency. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, that switch does nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of this room. Did you miss something? No, it just there's different things to check on the table, and I'll, I'm gonna come back through here. It's fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> and here we find Tweedle D Borg and Tweedle Dumb Borg running at. You. What are they even holding? Are those? Those are like big fucking clubs. You know what that looks like? That looks like the the Super Mutant Club from uh, Fallout 3. Yeah, you're right. Like the Rebar Club. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Fallout 3. Have you heard that they're uh, they're working on the a next Fallout? 
Uh, isn't it gonna be like an MMO? No, 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 that's... Okay. Oh, where do I start with this one? Okay. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a game called Fallout. Fallout, yes. Hey, Ashley! Can you actually kill her? I probably could. You're like, I'm not gonna do it. Um, once upon a time, there Can't was a game her. called Fallout, owned by some company. I forget the name of it. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, C and then there was, they made a sequel to it because Fallout was really successful. Fallout Two was inc incredibly successful, and then they also did like Steel Brotherhood, some other stuff. Um, was there like a like a like a Fallout board game, kind I, of like a digital board game? I think so, I think so. Um, and then they made Fallout Three, but that wasn't done by the company who originally did um, Fallout, which I think is that Obsidian. I don't know. Or, um, anyway, uh, the Fallout 3 games were done by Bethesda, of the Elder Scrolls fame. And it was a, uh, first per- oof. It was a first person, uh... I hate this guy so much. I hate the crossbow guy so much. Guess what, Taser guy's gonna hit me. I don't have a shot- I don't have any shotgun ammo. Oh. And it's, like, screwing me. Um, yeah, so, so... Bethesda made Fallout 3, and it was really popular, but the problem was... You know, it's, it, it took place in the Fallout world. It's, it had a lot of the same tropes, but it wasn't like the first so, okay, Fallout. Okay, so what happens? So, okay, okay. So, the first Fallout game. Yes. The the, the people who owned Fallout originally, like now was now was Fallout always published by Bethesda? No, no, no. How did I, they I get? Just, I just said that. But I'm just, saying is no. I know there's different between published and made. So I'm no, saying no, no, no. They weren't who, published. So who 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 distrib So they were just. So the company. That um, made Fallout was it a, a, a development team or a publishing team, and then they jump from publish to development team, development team. I think I, I want because how did Bethesda get involved with Fallout through Fallout to begin with? How did they get into position to be like, hey, you des you develop, you be the developers for this game? Because essentially they, they bought the rights for it. Okay, so they bought the they bought the rights for Fallout. And, essentially, okay, yeah. and then there was for a while there was rumors of a of a new fallout game and then fallout new vegas came out because that was but that's the, the fallout mmo is the project currently being done by the guys who originally did fallout but um uh, again, Bethesda owns the rights to them now, so they technically can't. And now it's been a back and forth between the two of them. Um, I think what I heard was that I think basically they have the right, they still own the rights to do an MMO of it. Oh, is it one of those weird split right things? Whereas, mm -hmm. whereas like, yeah, basically like they sold the rights, but like, it's basically, it's kind of like um anybody out there who doesn't know, who doesn't know what happened with um Marvel. No, the, well, not, no, no, Mar no. This is different because Marvel's different. Because Marvel's that's a question of character. That's the difference of a, like a thing. Basically, um. Um, one of the James Bond movies, um, there's a James Bond movie that is not made by the same company that makes all the James Bond movies. Um, never say never. Never say never. Um, it's, it's basically Sean Connery was Bond for a while. It was the first Bond. Uh, well, technically, I think somebody actually played Bond before him in like little serials or whatever. George Lazenby. No, nope, George Lazenby was after. But I'm saying like there was someone pre Sean Connery in the in like the world of like there was like a little TV short stuff like there someone else had taken that role. But like he is of course the most iconic as playing it for the first time in like cinema, mm -hmm. like a big budget film. Um, basically, um, Ian Fleming who who wrote the James Bond books because they were books originally. And then he adapted those books into screenplays to be made into movies and very successful. Everybody knows this. Blah, blah, blah. Um, he had a writing partner who helped him adapt um, the movies into... The books into movies. Um, uh, broccoli? I forget. But basically, um, something happened where, like, they tried several times to do, like, Moonraker. I think it was Moonraker. Mm -hmm. And they tried several times and it just kind of failed. Like, like, they, like they tried... Or, or Thunderball. I think it was... No, it was Thunderball. They tried several times to do Thunderball, and it kind of didn't work, and then he kind of abandoned it, and he kind of went back to it later, um, or some such nonsense. Mm -hmm. And his writing partner claimed that, like, um, that he used ideas that he had done. Some, some such nonsense so that a judge decided, okay, this company owns the rights to make James Bond films. They have the right to make James Bond films, you know, as long as they have the copyright, whatever. You, however, have the rights. I think, I think he might have settled it out of court. To keep it from like, because they were like, shit, he might get some of the rights, because they didn't want him to get like royalties for all the movies. Mm -hmm. So they were like, okay, we're, we're going to give you royalties on Thunderball. Or they did. You own the rights to the script. So if you want to make your own James Bond film based on your script, you can. 
Oh. So he had the rights to make a movie using the James Bond character, he, but he couldn't deviate from his script. He got blocked several times by um, because they looked at the script and said, no, this is too different. You're writing too different. You can only make a movie based on the script you made. You can change it somewhat, but it cannot be a completely different story. Mm-hmm. So that is why Never Say Never came about. It's basically it's basically a, a retelling of the th- of Thunderball, which is an adaptation of a James Bond book. Right. And it is basically an adaptation of it. It's very very strange. Which is, I guess, also the reason why it wasn't necessarily so good. Um, but it, I think it actually did better. I think in the theaters than the other one because people wanted to see um, Sean Connery again. Yeah, this is true. This uh, I think it came out around the time that uh, um, they came out like several months apart from one another. T- uh, who who was the James Bond at the time? Roger Moore or Timothy Dalton? I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you I, off the top of my head I couldn't tell you I'm, I mean I'm, I'm actually getting some piece of information information wrong I'm sure so I, I really couldn't tell you right but anyway all of that that's uh, essentially what happened with the Fallout series but there has been uh, uh, for all those who played Fallout Three the the character of Three Dog the radio um, DJ in in the wastelands he's he's uh, been on Twitter he's like hey guess who's back guess who's uh, uh, guess who's guess who's dogging it? Yeah, pretty much. It's like what? It's like three dogs back for more shows. You know, just like little teasers here and there. And people have been saying like because because of that, they're gonna make a new Fallout game, also based in the uh, in the I think uh, I, I would I would assume it would be in the Metro uh, DC area because that's where the original Fallout Three takes place. Oh, I'm thinking if it had, if that's something to do with that character? Yeah, because he he was a radio DJ. In uh, in Maryland, in in the DC area. True, but he could have he could have moved shop. He could have because you know certain but characters n- not, not not much further really because certain characters in this area I think have gone like cross, you know. Cross, like, bucket, you mean see. between uh, three and, and New Vegas? I think so. I think isn't that pro- the the point of your character? Your character was a courier in Fall Vegas. In Fall, yeah, but you're, no, no, no. Your character in, in Fall Three is a completely different character than Fall I know, New Vegas. But I'm saying it's like he he, he traveled to New Vegas. Yeah. From somewhere. Uh, I think we got California actually. Come from the other way. Maybe because isn't because isn't the middle of the country fucked? Yeah, it was it, between uh, Caesar's Legion and uh, uh, the the California Republic. I think it was or the new. Uh, hey new, guys, new California Republic. Fucking build planes. Get on it. <laughs> like, we have the tech. We had the technology. Just do it again. Oh, what's gonna happen? Uh, uh. Oh, people who've been watching this series since the beginning recognize this scene. Yes. <laughs> I want a Red Robin. That is an exceptionally phallic microphone. It's just a microphone. Dude, that, now you're projecting. Am I? Yes. <laughs> um, oh my god, look at that sky vagina. That's just blatant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh... Um, this area is weird. I don't know why it's here. Like, you come here and then you make... I guess it's the show, like... You're why, really isolated? Yeah, why wouldn't Leon call for help, you know? And it's like... Oh, but he, he did. Because he can, like, I guess. This, this area has served no purpose other than to come here, use that microphone, fail. And there was no other... And, and the merchant. And, and the merchant, that's about it. There's nothing really here. I, I got some items, but, like, there's nothing... You don't do anything really here. It's just here. It's just kind of a, a side. Does it trigger anything else? I don't think so. Can you skip it? Yeah, you don't have to go that way. Oh. I don't get anything from there. I just, I just get the merchant. I wanted to go to the merchant. Well, now, here's a question. Was that originally in the... Uh, I, in the, in the I don't remember. I, I I honestly can't remember. It's too far back. It's, it's, it's been like oh, 10 years since I've played the GameCube version. Right. So like I, I really couldn't tell you. Hey, look, save point. Hey. You know what that means. See you next time? No. Oh. It, it means we're going to go back and look at that fucking wicked sky vagina. I'm going to Photoshop in like a floating vagina in the cloud. No, do not <laughs> no such thing is going to happen. No such thing is going to happen. It's like... <laughs> Whoosh. Like a Georgia O'Keeffe painting. Oh God, what have I started? <laughs> All right, see you guys. See you next time, guys. Just Resident Evil things. Uh, nope.